Hey, Viva Grow team. I wanted to congratulate you with your reviews on this listing. I know how competitive lawn and garden can be, uh, certainly with chemicals. So this is a job well done. Now, my job is to look for potential opportunities with sellers who prioritize on Amazon. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to show you a few opportunities that I found with your listing. My name is Sean, and I'm an account executive with My Amazon Guy. So listen, I'm going to pack this full of valuable information for for you. Let's dive right in. Now, coming over here, I've got your Microstop biofungicide pulled up. And looking, you've only got 13 sponsor keywords, 381 organic keywords. These numbers are really, really low. Um, so I'm curious how traffic has been for you. Now, we tend to recommend a one to two ratio in this category. So for every one sponsored, you have two organic. But again, I think both of these numbers here are low. So I'm gonna scroll down and let me show you some things and I'll get out of the way here. Now I sorted this by the most frequently used keywords in this category right now. You've got an interesting mix that shows up here. Worm castings pulls up first and then um, you're here with micro fungi. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Copper fungicide um, and then you know it goes up. You've, you're here for uh, stump killer, uh, Ocean Potion, which is a sunscreen. That's interesting. Um, now, as we scroll down fungicide, I this is good that you're ranked here. I think you should be higher sponsored though. Um, so something to think about there. And then let's keep going. So scrolling down here. Well, okay, so let's try this one. You're organically ranked 219 for spray grass seed. And I'm going to click through this. Now, uh, look, I know sponsored ads have gone up like 35% in this category in the last year. Um, but for the word spray grass seed, you see you've got these sponsored ads right here. And then, of course, all those other, what was it, 218 other organic listings above yours. So um, remember, spray grass seed, those three words are being searched by over... 1400 people this month alone and it's going to generate close to two million dollars in revenue this month alone on amazon so where you're ranked organically it's going to be very hard for you to get your share of this revenue and i could show you other examples of any of these keywords even some of your uh, sponsored you need to move up so i believe your seo and your ppc needs improvement certainly your seo now, coming over here, I do want to show you this listing. I took soil drench from your listing and found this one right here. Now, I'm not doing any product comparisons. What I want to show you is this. They're advertising, right? They're advertising substantially more than you are, and they've got an incredible amount of organic keywords. This listing has not been up that long, but this is why they're selling more. So let's do this. I want to take it a step further. So since you're heavily reliant on your organic keywords, I want to show you something that we do in phase three of our three phase SEO process. So we look at those keywords where you're ranked organically in spots 20 through 50, and you've got 42 of those, more than 10% of your keywords right now. Now, because of that, you're not really benefiting from the traffic because of where you're ranked, right? You're in 20 through 50. And our focus would be in phase three to move you up into the top 10 of those ranks. So instead of say 39 for captain fungicide, you're gonna be up in the top 10 spots. So not only is this gonna send more organic traffic to you, it can also help with your ACOS if you're no longer having to advertise on those keywords. So something to think about, but again, your SEO needs improvement. Now, coming over here and looking at your listing, let's just go through your listing here real quick. So uh, your first image is fine. I really like, this is a great image um, because it shows, you know, kind of that you can use it indoors. Um, now, here's where I think you could benefit yourself. You need some infographics, something built into, especially with an image like this. This is so compelling. It shows beautiful roots, you know, an infographics explaining why Microstop is beneficial for this image right here. What did it do to help here? Did it improve the root system? Did it help make these hardier greens? You know, what is it? 
So you, I would recommend at least two infographics. You don't have any right now. And let me explain why. The words that we have in our listings, right? All the copy throughout, those are for organics, right? They're to drive people um, to your listings through SEO and PPC. The images are what makes people click, right? So you really need to have uh, great images. We do a lot of, a we do A-B testing on all of our images, um, but I do recommend that you need info uh, infographics for yours because your product is, uh, you know, it's, it's designed to help grow plants and people need to know those steps. So, and also what the benefits are of it. Um, now, here's where you can make an immediate impact. Increase your title length. You can go up to 200 characters here, and you've probably got about 35. Uh, so you can go up to 200 characters. This is where Amazon looks to first for your organic keywords, and then they come here. Now, each of these bullets can have 250 characters, and I absolutely recommend increase these and your title because this will help increase your organic keywords. Uh, these are the two spots that Amazon looks to first for your organic keywords. Now let's go through, let's click through to the Viva Grow store. Love this branding. I like this. Okay, you've got a lot of uh, different products to choose from, which is great. So let's go, let's do this. Let's scroll down. I want to see how you're branding yourself and exploiting that on your listing. Now, one thing I will tell you right away, if you do anything today, you have a module that's not filled out. It's called your brand story. Um, it is in Seller Central right above your product description. Uh, fill that out. You can have a graphic and more content copy. Uh, you want to fill that out. Talks about, you know, how you got your start, why you do what you do. Um, but it will take up more real estate on this listing. And you want to do that to hide your competitors, also to give consumers more information. It'll help increase your organic keywords too. Um, but scrolling down here, first thing I want to do, let's look at your alt text. Viva Grow logo. Okay. Yeah. Your alt text needs updating. So um, each alt text can have up to 200 characters and think about it this way. So if I were looking for something that's going to help, you know, maybe my tomatoes, uh, you know, do better, maybe I'm having issues and I want a product like this, I'm not going to type in Microstop WP2G or Pythium. Um, I'm going to use those frequently used keywords that we saw over here that everybody else is using right now, right? Um, this fungi, copper fungicide, uh, the great white, milky spore, stump killer, all those words. Those are the words that you want to see. That's what's driving traffic here to you. Um, and then scrolling down, I do like this product grid that you have down here. This will help increase your average order value. Uh, I think though more images and infographics is definitely beneficial. This is an excellent image. And I think if you had something like this up top with an infographic, this would be a really compelling story. I like it. Now here at my Amazon guy, we're a 200 plus person agency and we simply grow sales on Amazon. We give our brands peace of mind knowing that they can focus on their business while we manage Amazon for them. Uh, we grow sales a couple of different ways. The first through traffic with our PPC and SEO, and then conversion through our catalog design and enhanced brand content. Um, but I'd love the opportunity to chat with you. So go ahead and click the link in my email that reads book a call. It'll open up my schedule where you can snag yourself a free consultation. And if you do it soon, I'll go ahead and email out that competitor analysis. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.